if you've ever been in this position. You got a rectangle here and you want to do a new rectangle. So you press G, you get this corner rectangle going, you go like this, you go like that. And now you want this rectangle here and it will make it a little smaller on this edge here. So you're like, okay, well, if I find the midpoint of this line and the midpoint of this line and I make them vertical, that'll get it centered on this, on this edge. And you're like, great, okay, now I just need to find the midpoint. And you can't find the midpoint. I've run into this problem so many times and it used to make me so frustrated until I learned this trick. Now just press Shift S. It'll go up here, It'll that's just the keyboard shortcut for making a point. Boom, the midpoint pops right the frick up. It's so nice. Anyway, and then you can just find the midpoint here and you can escape from that command. You can select this, select this, press V, make them vertical. Then you just do some quick dimensioning. All you have to dimension now is the top and the side here. And it's fully defined. Also, pretty cool, while we're at it, that really changed my life. Shift E, also another command that is a shortcut for extrude. And that has also been super helpful for me. Now it's important to note that uh, Shift S when you're kind of outside of a sketch means to start a sketch. So this will start a new sketch and you can just press on, you know, whatever plane or surface you want to start a sketch on. Also super helpful. And then we could, we could do it again. We want to, let's say we want another rectangle and we want this rectangle to be at the midpoint of this line. Um, right now it is showing, oh, well, uh, no, see it just, oh, there it is. Ooh, ooh, ooh. See, so it just keeps disappearing. So I'll just press shift S. Click there, boom, there. We'll get a little vertical action in here. Oh, oops. <laughs> Horizontal action in here, boom. Dimension this guy out, boom. Dimension this guy out, boom. We're locked, we're loaded, shift E, we got that. We do it, uh, let's see, second end position, we'll do. And we can just, I don't know, make a little funky part right there. Anyway, I hope you found this helpful. This was just going to be a little video on how to find a midpoint. If you're searching around for the midpoint and you can't find it, I hope this helps someone out. And good luck designing out there.